All right, so we're doing this zero power rule thing. Now, what does that mean? What is anything to the zero power? Well, anything to the zero power, you might think it's just like, if I was to make up the rules, I go, well, it's just zero, but really it's one. Now, why do I say really it's one? Like it's just absolutely true because it actually is. It's not anybody's opinion. It's absolutely true. Let me prove it real quick. Uh, again, like think about if you had like, I don't know, two to the fifth over two squared. You know the rule there, right? It really, what does it really mean? Just go, forget about the rule. Just say, what is it really? It means five twos over two twos and these cancel. And so what do you have? Two to the third, three twos, right? So in other words, the rule is you can just subtract five minus two and you got it, right? So then what would be like two cubed over two cubed? Well, subtract the powers. That's what we just said, right? You can just go five minus two here and that became three. So this would be two to the zero power. So two to the third over two to the third is two to the zero. Now, what is two to the third over two? Well, it's really eight over eight, isn't it? Two, you know, two times two times two. Two times two times two is really, two times two is four times two is eight. And two times two is four times two is eight. It's really eight. What is eight divided by eight? How many times is eight going to eight? One time. So that proved, what did I just prove? What is all that I'm doing? I'm proving to you that this rule is really true. That two to the zero power is really just one. Wait, how did I prove that again? Because I said, well, what if you have two to the third over two to the third? Um, you can do the rule, you can work this problem out two different ways. You can subtract the powers, so it's really two to the zero, or you can just work out the number. It's eight over eight, and eight divided by eight is one, which proves they're the same. It's just two different ways, two true rules. So they have to be equal. So what I did is I just proved to you with numbers that anything to the zero power is really one, you see? Because you can subtract powers and it's two to the zero, or you can just work it out. It's eight over eight, eight divided by eight is one. So anything to the zero power has gotta be one. Anyway, that's all the proof. So then let's do, so, so you got the rule, right? Anything to the zero power is really one. Now let's do it. What is 11 to the zero power? Well, we just said it's one. Let me jump down here. What is minus 11, parentheses around it, to the zero power? Well, we just said it's one. This is great, right? You want a million of these on the test. Um, <clears throat> this one here. What is minus 11 to the zero power? Well, we just said it's one. Eh, that one's not one. Here's the exception. Not really an exception. I'm going to explain. This one's negative one. <clears throat> not, <clears throat> excuse me, not positive one. Why? I thought, I thought, I thought the rule was anything to the zero power is one, like regular one, not negative, regular one, like, like this one right here, uh, this one down here, oops, I had the right thing there, this one here became one, why did this one become negative one, what's going on there, well, here's the rule, anything, write it out, to the zero power, um, becomes one. Anything to the zero power is one. That's true. But this zero power is only on the 11. You see, he's not on the negative. Whereas in this case, the zero power is on the whole thing. So what you got to be clear on, let me, let me say it a little more clearly. The zero power turns anything he has power over into one, but he can't affect other things over which he has no power. So you've got to be clear who the zero power has power over. Yes, he'll turn anything into one over whom he has power, but he can't overextend his influence over to things he doesn't have power, right? So my point is, when you have parentheses, the zero power has power over the entire whatever's in the parentheses, negative signs, numbers, letters, other powers, whatever, the zero power, right? That's what the parentheses mean, meaning they're all under the power of that zero power. So the whole thing just becomes one. Whereas right here, when you don't have parentheses, the zero power only has power over the 11. He doesn't get to touch the negative sign. The negative sign is just sitting there. So let me write it out for you clearly. When there's parentheses to the zero power. The zero 
power has power over all items inside the parentheses, right? Um, but when there's no parentheses, the zero power or any power only affects the number it is, it is on, not even the negative sign in the front or anything else or anything else running out of room here. So that's, that's the deal. You just have to be really clear who the zero power has power over. Does that make sense? This, what, what I call this, this negative sign that's sitting right here, he's just a spectator. He's just watching. Like um, I go to a lot of my kids' games now. And when I go to the games, I'm just a spectator. When the coach tells the team to do different things, I, I don't do it. I'm not on the team. I'm not under the coach's power. I'm just a spectator sitting in the stands watching the game happen. That's what this minus sign is. He's just a spectator. He's not under the power of the zero. So when there's, so when there's no parentheses, the zero power only affects, um, only affects the number it is on, not even the negative sign in the front or anything else. Right, they're just spectators watching it happen. So, the um, the zero power on the eleven makes it into a one, but the negative sitting in the front is just watching the game happen. He's not listening to the coach and following the instructions. He's not under the power of the power. Whereas right here with the parentheses, the whole negative eleven is under the power. Clearly, right? That's what the parentheses mean. The whole thing is under the zero. So the whole thing becomes a one. Does that make sense? So a zero power turns anything under its power into a one, but you got to be clear who's under its power and who's not. If there's no parentheses, only the number is under the power, not even the minus sign, which seems weird, but the minus sign is separate. He's just sitting in the stands watching. He's a spectator. Whereas if you have parentheses, everything in the parentheses is under the power of the zero. So there we go.